hello uh, today again with a new extension from opencardprogrammer.com it's extension to receive payment from credit card or debit card all kinds of cards uh, lots of customer from different countries they asked for this module and we have developed the latest version with open card 2.0 point any and 2.3 point uh, uh, sorry 3.0 point any version of open card so version 2 version 3 all the latest versions are going to support with this module this is really encrypted and user friendly OC mode BQ mode based so you have no need to worry about the core file changes or anything like that codes are really neat and clean and it's encrypted with the default open card encryption method we have several functionality that will help you to proceed with this let me show you quickly so at first you have to you have to purchase the extension then later you have to go to extensions then install it and then upload upload the file that you are going to get from the uh, opencard.com you have to download from there after purchase then that's it it's installed already and finally you have to go to extensions modifications clear refresh boom then extension extensions extensions that's it select payments you can find easily uh, our offline credit card new module offline credit cards then you have to install it here actually after installation you have to edit that you have to put kind of password this encryption key actually the key that will help to decode your encrypted data about the card for security reason so for example someone purchased with mastercard the, his card in for her card information should be saved in, in your database or it could be mailed to you it depends on your setup then based on your password or whatever the things you are going to use for example i am using this as my password little complex this key actually going to use during uh, encryption or decryption of the card information second is pci mode pci mode uh, we prefer actually maximum all payment information encrypted and emailed to your email address admin email address that's it so you can get that data come here uh, in this module and you can put that encrypted data here submit then you can get the uh, decrypted data that means the card information here to process your uh, next step so let me show you here is the accepted cards you can put as many card you want maybe I am putting like like this many cards and the total amount I mean to show the customer how much amount do you want uh, want to uh, allow them like if it is not less than hundred dollar if it is less than hundred dollar we are not going to show if it is more than hundred dollar then we are going to show the uh, payment module in in checkout this is the process so i'm just putting on for this moment and order status we prefer it's pending it's your your responsibility what do you want here it's your choice geo zone you can set up any any zone you like to show the payment module some people they want to show in canada but don't want to show in usa like that you can show all zone if you want to show this module for everyone and definitely you can enable or disable the um, module finally sort order we are going to sort it in in checkout process to show it properly uh, then save that's it your payment module is saved everything is fine then go to the front end I have already checked it so I'm going to reload the page in checkout process if you go to the payment method step you will see the credit or debit card if you select it as a customer continue you can get it look as many card we accepted from the back end that is showing here so anyone can select their card type and they can put the card uh, holder name and and the card number as well they can put over here everything is here but the question is if it is not valid if it is expired anything happen it's going to check by the system so you have no need to worry about that so so the payment should not process the, the things should not process the order should not process till the card is valid so it will always check the validation of the card 
so it's a good things as well i think it will help you guys a lot it has several other options in orders uh, you can see it when you are you are going to get live orders with the cards it should be fine everywhere and if you have any issue with installation or anything you, you don't see is working you can discuss with us you can always visit opencardprogrammer.com or you can search in google words based open card programmer or based open card programmer you can find us then click on support center it will take you to the help desk page of us and then you can open our new ticket create a ticket support ticket you will get your service on time thank you very much for watching this video i hope this extension will help you guys thanks again from opencardprogrammer.com